Katie's story, the heroic story of a Route 91 Las Vegas mass shooting survivor, today on the Trident Shield podcast. Hey everyone, um, got a very inspiring story today. Um, being an entrepreneur uh, can be a really hard uh, thing. You know, you're working over 100 hours a week, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of, a lot of struggles, but. Uh, this morning, I happened to get uh, an email from a very special person uh, named Katie, who uh, is a Las Vegas Route 91 survivor. And um, she attended one of our trainings in Oxnard, California. And I, I'd like to read it to you. Um, I asked her for permission to do so. I tried reading this several times, and I cried a couple times. So. Um, I hope to make it through this one. All right, for you guys. Jason and Lauren, I keep telling you that I cannot thank you enough, and that is so very true. Attending the work life safety course has really changed my life. She did, she attended our realtor work life safety course, and we added um, an active shooter component to it. God put it on my heart to share my story with you guys. I hope you don't mind. When I was at Route 91, I never once looked to see where the exit was. I never talked to my friends about what we would do if something happens. It was never even a thought in my mind. When the shooting started, I looked at my friend and said, a helicopter just crashed. We need to move. We moved towards a pizza stand about a foot over, and she said, no, let's wait. I think it was just fireworks. Seconds after that, the shooting started again, and I looked to my right to see the girl next to me get shot in the head. I grabbed my friend and I said, you are going home to your daughter. We ran through a media tent, behind the stage slightly, and I had to wait in line while bullets hit the media tent and people tried to knock down the fence, pushing and shoving people stepped on us and knocked us down. We finally get the fence down and ran into, ran until someone told us to get into the back of a refrigerator truck. We were lucky to stay there and only hear muffled screams and gunshots while the majority of the shooting happened. I remember thinking this can't be a shooting. That wouldn't happen to me. I told someone who was crying in the truck, don't worry about it. It's just a down power line. Talk about normalcy bias. A down power line made more sense to me than a shooting. We got out of the truck and climbed over the fence to go hide in the parking lot. That is when I decided to call my mom and dad and tell them that I didn't know what was happening, but I was okay at the moment and hung up and ran past the police officers that told us to take cover. I asked someone in the street, what the hell just happened? They responded pointing at the person that was shot on the ground in front of me. There was a shooting, you need to take cover. My friend and I hid under a car for roughly three hours with a sweet couple from Oregon. The husband covered in blood and made all the phone calls we could think of to tell our friends and family that we love them and that we were safe at the moment. A young girl saw four of us under the car and asked if we needed a ride. We wanted to get out, we wanted to get the heck out of there, even if we didn't know the person. We could not get back to our other friend in the hotel, but if we could get out of there, I had a place to go. Luckily, my boss had arranged for her nephew to get us and take us to his house, but we needed to get away from the closed roads so he could get to us. We took the ride from the complete stranger with about $10 worth of cash and no credit cards to a place that was not the least bit familiar to us and waited for our ride to come pick us up and take us back to his house, another person I had never met, to rest and get cleaned up. I had joked with my mom that I was going to need therapy. At that moment, sitting in a stranger's house with dirt, blood, scratches, and bruises on me, I had no idea how much my life had changed, how much 22,000 people's lives had changed 
had just changed. The simplest tasks like going to church, the grocery store, just leaving my house became so terrifying. I knew that I only had to had made it home to my loved ones by the grace of God. I was simply lucky, not prepared. I now know that this world has bad people in it. Some days that fear was so paralyzing I couldn't get out of bed. I have been able to go on one walk outside by myself since October 1st, 2017. And it ended in a panic attack. And having to call someone to come get me. Since I attended the work life safety course, that has changed. I make a plan when I am going places, and that has given me my piece, a piece of my old life that I thought was gone forever. I recently went for a walk by myself and had no issues. My next goal is to get back in the gym, but that will take time. It is a little more crowded and a lot less predictable. But I know with the tools I learned from you guys, I will be back there in no time. When I say I can't thank you enough, I truly mean it. You guys have given me a piece of my life back that I never thought I would have again. What you guys are doing with Try and Shield is so amazing. You will change so many lives and save so many lives. No one else needs to know how bad this world really is. And I believe you are going to help save a lot of people's innocence. All the best, Katie. There are days where life is hard. Today's not one of them. Thanks, Katie, for uh, sharing your testimony. You're the hero of this story. Not us. For those of you who don't know, we give our course away for free to all Route 91 survivors. If you know one, have them email us or contact us on Facebook, and we'll gladly send them a copy of our course. We just want to help. We got into this, I got into this line of work and I started this company because I just want to help. So. Thanks for watching this and sorry I lost it. Um, have a good day. God bless you. God bless you, Katie. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more safety tips, interviews, and commentary on breaking news. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. And you can always find more information about us at tridentshield.net.